Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Old Time Rock and Roll. I'm your host, David Tear, where I've been featuring uh, my personal top 3,000 uh, list of what I roughly consider top 3,000 songs of the rock era from 1954 to 1999. Today, I'm up to song number 2965, and that one is uh, Him by Rupert Holmes. This was a uh, uh, top 10 hit from 1980. And uh, it was, uh, here's a picture of him, Rupert Holmes. I'll get to him later. But this was released on his album called Partners in Crime, which was released in 1979. This had two big hits on it. Uh, him was the second. Uh, I think it went to number six. But his first big hit on this album was called Escape or uh, the Pina Colada song. Kind of a funny song. I mean, it's kind of interesting. I mean, both of these songs uh these were all i think his only two top 10 hits uh that he recorded himself uh, he, he he and they're both about infidelity <laughs> and uh you know uh, uh escape's kind of a funny one because uh i'll get to that one later in my countdown but uh that one is actually about a married couple that end up they both intend on cheating but they end up cheating with each other a very kind of strange song but i like it and the other one him is just more of a kind of Eric, a song about you know a man whose wife's cheating on him and he discovers that she's cheating and is basically you know it confronts her about it so i guess he was kind of into that but uh let me let me just get back into Ru rupert holmes a little bit um yeah here's a picture of him again he, he was that uh, he only though he even though he only had these two uh big hits on his own he he was actually a pretty famous songwriter not just a songwriter but he was also uh uh, he he uh, composed uh, music for for musicals. He he uh, wrote two um, big musicals. One was called The uh, Mystery of uh, Edwin Drod, and this uh, actually won two Tony Awards for him. And he also wrote another one called Curtains. And uh, um, and he he even uh, um, wrote the music for a, a t TV series called Remember When. And, uh, you know, even though uh, he, he only had two hits on his own, he, he uh, wrote songs for some other famous uh, um, singers, including Ron Dante. Ron Dante was kind of a bubblegum artist from the late 60s. He, he was actually the lead singer for a cartoon band called the Archies. They had the hit Sugar Sugar and a few other ones. They were a, a cartoon band. There was a TV cartoon based on the, on the comic strip uh, um, Archie. And uh, and then he also uh, belonged to another band called the Cufflinks. So I believe it was with the Cufflinks that um, that uh, Robert Holmes uh, uh, wrote this song, um, Gen Jennifer Tompkins, in 1969. He uh, he wrote another uh, famous song uh, called Timothy, and this was recorded by this band here called the Boys. I think this was their only hit. They were a one hit and wonder. This came out in 1971, and it's a very strange song because. Uh, I guess uh, Rupert Holmes wanted to write a controversial song, you know, about a t controversial topic that never been written about before. So he decided to write a song about cannibalism. And I think this is the only song I know, the only the only hit song I know that's about cannibalism. And it's kind of a funny song. And uh, uh, anyway, I'll get to that one later in my list, too. That just another heads up. Uh, that one is coming up on my list Uh and so anyway, that's my profile on Rupert Holmes. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.